All right, so Nokia, you're working on the issues of AI and sustainability. It's a big issue going forward, but also according to your data, I'm looking at your data right here, the emission footprint of the overall tech landscape, it's doubled over the last 15 years. Uh, obviously, AI data centers, they use a lot of power. Tell me about where you see that trend going and then how can we make it sustainable? Look, the projected energy demand of AI is huge, depending upon what study do you believe in. It's, it's going to go double over the next uh, few, few years. But let me break down the, the issue in two areas. One is the energy consumption of the data centers themselves, where it, much of AI hyperscale cloud is processed. This is where much of the discussions at this week's uh, New York Climate Week has happened. This is where much of the concerns uh, from, from you know, the environmental specialist and the technology world has been. Nokia has been working with data centers providers uh, to help exactly this issue. Last week, we announced uh, a, a deal with Core Weave, which is trying to put hyperscaler uh, AI workload in the data centers. We are working with them to build a huge wide area infrastructure in US as well as Europe to be able to get to 30% uh, more traffic in data centers with the same energy envelope. So that's the first part. The second part is to be able to get the data traffic carrying the AI workload from point A, which is the device, to point B, which is the data center. This is where networks come in. Okay. And I, I will like to say that you know, this is where a lot of the innovation in the networking industry has happened over the years. You know, we have come up with chipsets in our Quillian chipset, Rifshock chipset, FP5, PSC6, which have been reducing the energy consumption between 60 to 75% uh, over the generations. And on top of that, our renowned research arm Bell Labs has been working on 6G technologies, which is uh, trying to address the traffic growth by 10x while reducing the energy consumption by half from current 5G okay. levels. We're getting a little bit into the weeds, but it sounds like you're saying that there's specific points where you can reduce energy consumption, and chips seems to be one of those areas. It is. Okay. Um, what innovations do we need to see in chips to reduce energy consumption in a meaningful way? Because, again, we need to generate more power to run these data centers. That's right. Uh, so, of course, there's a lot of innovation that goes into the silicon, which helps in reducing the power consumption, um, you know, be it at the radio level or at the optical or the IP level. Now, the, the AI chipset manufacturers are, are consistently working on that. We are working with many of them to be able to help there. But I would also draw the, the attention to it's not just at the chipset level, it's also how you use AI in the various network infrastructures. So today, a lot of the energy consumption in the networks is also when devices are not using the, the data consumption. We are working to make sure that when a network is not used, the power consumption goes down. Okay. And, and AI has been extremely useful in that context. Let's talk about power consumption more broadly. So according to your data, uh, by 2030, the amount of power that uh, data centers are going to use is going to double. It's going to be 9% of U.S. capacity. How can you make that sustainable? How can you make that amount of power sustainable? Is that going to come from solar power? Is it going to come from wind farms? I mean, what's the, the method to power this much uh, when it comes to data centers? Yeah, so it is a huge challenge for every economy, and there is lots of uh, public policy interventions that are needed to get there. But I'll also point out that the transition of the energy sector to renewable uh, power, as well as various other sectors, which are today the higher greenhouse gas emission uh, contributors, like you know, the steel sector, the transportation sectors, the manufacturing sectors, which are also consuming a lot of power, as well as uh, greenhouse gas emission, their transformation into the digital world is a need of the hour. And this is where Nokia has been working also with you know, many of the industrial customers. We are trying to bring the power of digitalization to uh, you know, physical industries, uh, like the industries I mentioned. Nokia has been working with 760 uh, enterprises around the world to put the power of private wireless networking in, in, you know, in their uh, networks, including many in the energy sector. That energy sector transformation using the power of digitalization is a big way by which uh, their ability to cater to this new demand will, will happen. Okay. Earlier this week at New York Climate Week, we also launched what is called the Private Wireless Sustainability Calculator. It helps different you know, uh, companies, including energy companies, power companies, uh, ports, mines, to be able to understand the impact of networking technology on their sustainability parameters like greenhouse gas emissions or even improved health and safety of their workers.